guys, welcome back. We are working our way through the rainforest. Um, our animal today, hmm, you wanna make any guesses? What do you think it could be? Hmm, can't be a frog, we already did a frog. Hmm, maybe a snake? Not today. What do you think? Did you guess monkeys? Yeah, we are gonna talk about monkeys today. And I have lots of different resources. But I want to take a look at this book that I have. This is my rainforest book. It's one of these really tall rainforest books. It gives all those different layers. Because monkeys are kind of one of those animals that go in lots of different layers. They don't stay in one. I guess because they have those long arms and legs and tails that they can use as arms. They're very good climbers. So, whoops, this guy's upside down. They're very good climbers, so they can really be in lots of parts of the rainforest. So they might be at the very tippy top in the canopy, in the um, emergent layer. They spend a lot of time in the canopy, jumping from branch to branch and tree to tree. Okay, and that's where all those fruits are. So a lot of times they spend their time in the canopy where the fruits are. Okay, or they could even be found in the understory, making a little nest. Yeah, they make a nest with all the tree branches, look. Yeah, and finding a nice shady spot to rest. There's a guy down here at the bottom of the, um, of the um, understory, almost to the forest floor. So really, they like to jump around the rainforest. All right, so we're gonna learn about monkeys. Uh, let's see, we have um, capuchin monkeys. They're super cute. Yeah, you see those in movies a lot, don't you? Yeah. They're super cute. And then this is the one, if you go to the zoo, oh my goodness, you can hear these guys from miles away. These are those howler monkeys. That's what we're gonna learn about today. And that's actually what our paper is about, the howler monkey. They almost sound like a dog barking. Like, hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah, they're definitely very super loud. So we're gonna learn about them. But this is called the monkey book. It's a little picture book about different kinds of monkeys and maybe Give me a thumbs up if you've seen that monkey, this type of monkey at the zoo before, if we get to a page that has your monkey that you've seen before, okay? It says this baby woolly monkey uses its tail just like another hand. This is the woolly monkey because he almost looks like he has sheep wool, doesn't he? He's kind of fluffy, like a sheep, yeah. And they do use their tail like a hand, just wrap around. These are the red howler monkeys. The father is doing the family howling. So they kind of either warn other animals, like stay away, or they talk to one another, don't they? Oh, look at the mama and her baby. They do, they sound like dogs. <laughs> they do. The capuchin monkeys are very active and noisy. These are the ones I like to watch at the zoo because they're kind of all over the place. Yeah, look, he's swinging, hanging from his tail getting some fruit or leaves off the tree in the canopy probably. Yeah. It says the mother baboon thinks her baby is beautiful. There's the baby baboon getting a little ride on the back of the mother. Sometimes they ride on her back, sometimes they lie on their chest so, that, so mom can climb. Uh, the father madrill stands guard while his family takes a nap. These are those really ugly ones, look at that face. They have very sharp teeth um, yeah, they're kind of scary. And if they show their teeth, you'll see they're very super sharp. <coughs> oh, excuse me. The baby mustache monkey has found a good swing. Look at the swing. Where is it? His mama's tail. Why do you think they're called a mustache monkey? Mm-hmm. Because they look like they're wearing a mustache, huh? Even the baby <coughs> has a baby mustache. Let's see. In this family of colobus monkeys, even the mother and the baby have beards. Look, they almost look like skunks with the black and white, but they do have beards. And this little baby monkey too has a beard. Aww. They kind of stand out with that white fur, don't they? Two young chimpanzees, aww, are playing in the trees. Chimpanzees, you see those in movies a lot too, don't you? Yeah, I would like to have one of those as a pet. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, I don't think Mr. Zero will let me, huh? Yeah. Uh, the gibbons, it says a baby gibbon has an exciting ride on its mother um, swinging through the treetops. So look, 
See, this is what I mean. The babies hung, uh, hang on or cling to their mother's belly and take a little ride through the canopy or rainforest. Let's see, a baby rhesus monkey? I don't know what kind he is, but he's learning how to climb. Rhesus, never heard of him. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, the proboscis monkey lives in Borneo. And why do you think he's called a proboscis monkey? See that crazy nose he has? Look at that. I've never seen him before. Yeah, the proboscis is kind of like that thing that was on that butterfly that we talked about, the straw-like nose. So maybe because it's long and skinny? I don't know. It says when night comes to the jungle, other monkeys are asleep, but the owl monkeys come awake. You can tell by the size of their eyes that they are nocturnal. They come awake at night, kind of like owls do. They have those big, wide eyes to help them. So there's lots of kinds of monkeys that live in the rainforest and in the zoo. You can see them. This is a good nonfiction book about monkeys. Um, but you, in your packet, if you're following along, have howler monkey information. So we're going to get a highlighter and start highlighting some facts because you're going to need three facts about howler monkeys, and then a really cool picture of a howler monkey, and then you can make a monkey to hang on your vine. And if you didn't get to make a vine, all you need is a piece of brown bag, and you kind of crumple it up and put some leaves on there, okay? And we're just hanging all of our animals that we finish. Um, and if you didn't get one out of the packet, just go on the internet, ask mom or dad to help you, or brother or sister, and look for um, monkey coloring page, and you can get one too, if you don't have one. That's where I got mine. All right, so let's get started. Get your highlighter, and you're looking for three facts. Maybe think about what monkeys have, what they can do, what they eat, um, what are they, like what animal, what kind of animal? Are they a mammal, are they a reptile? Start thinking of those things. All right, you ready? It says howler monkeys are the loudest of all monkeys. They, I told you, you can hear them miles away. They make a sound like a loud whooping bark or roar. The loud noises can be heard from up to three miles. I thought it was just a mile. It's three miles away, wow. And it warns other monkeys to stay away. As the adults grow, they grow to be 22 to 36 inches long. So that's, okay, here's a ruler, that's 12. You would need about three of those. Choop, choop, choop. Yeah, three of those. If I put three rulers on the ground, that's how tall they are. Uh, let's see. They're 36. They can grow 36 inches long, and their tail can be just as long as their body. So they have long, skinny tails. That's what they use, remember? Howler monkeys live high in the forest trees in Central and South America. On average, they live to be about 15 to 20 years old. That's not very old, is it? Yeah, uh, animals don't live as long as humans, but that's pretty long for an animal. They find leaves, fruits, nuts, and flowers to eat. Um, some humans try to capture the howler monkey. Oh no, and put them in a zoo or to keep them as animals at their house. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? Yeah. Howler monkeys are not mean, but they do not like to be kept in captivity or in the zoo. So they feel like to be wild and free. All right. So read through this, find three facts about the howler monkey. Write it on your page, right? Um, view any videos about a monkey or monkeys that you want to on my playlist. Color your little monkey, cut them out, glue them to our forest or vine, okay? And let's keep working ourselves through the rainforest. All right, and keep learning.